this stuff seems to be pretty important to a lot of people. But I can honestly say that I've never attached much importance to it. There's been times when I've had no money. And there's been times when I've had lots and lots of money. And quite honestly, it's not really changed my life very much at all. And then people talk about real money as opposed to digital money, cryptocurrency. So what is real money? Real money doesn't really exist. It's just a tool. It's something that's produced. It's printed by governments. The more they print, the less value it has. That's the simple law of supply and demand. So they say, OK, we're going to give $12 billion to fight this covid epidemic and what do they do they print 12 billion dollars more of paper currency which floods into the market devalues the value of the dollar in everybody's pocket and it's an unseen tax money isn't real it's no longer attached to anything tangible at one time it used to be attached to actual tangible assets but it's not attached to anything nowadays it's purely a system of trust and when that trust breaks down money loses its value some people say money is the root of all evil and that's not true either money is simply a tool and it depends on how you use it like a hammer is a hammer evil if it's used in the construction of a home? No, it's a great tool. But it's evil if somebody picks it up and hits you on the head with it. But that's not the tool itself. That's the use of it. And it's the use of money that can be evil or good. The same as any tool. And too many people spend money they've earned, and quite often money they've not even earned, they use credit to buy things they don't want to impress people that they don't like. And that's a very true fact. It's all this keeping up with the Joneses sort of idea. It's all to do with ego. Let's get rid of the ego and just live our lives. This is very true. Jim Rohn said time is more valuable than money. Massively more valuable. Because you can get more money... But you can't get more time. Once time has gone, that's it. It never comes back. But money always seems to be around. Even if you're short of it most of the time, there's always some there. So how do you become what's classed as solvent or financially independent? Well, financial peace isn't the acquisition of stuff. It's learning to live on less than you make. So that you can give money back and have money to invest. And you can't win until you do this, says Herman Cain. And this, this is a philosophy that's been expressed for centuries. Classically, in one of Charles Dickens' books, where he talks about happiness being living on less than your income, and to a large extent, it's true. If you live beyond your income, you're always struggling, you're always doing the wrong things. You've got to remember that money is only a tool and it'll take you wherever you wish, but it won't replace you as the driver. It's all to do with you and the way you react to things and the way you use it. And because of irresponsibility, the thought that money is important, people tend to chase money. And what happens? Money runs away from you and it can run faster than you, I assure you. So you've got to stop chasing money and make money chase you. How do you do that? Well, first, you've got to disattach yourself from the importance of money. Money has no real importance. Its only value is as a tool, and that depends on how you intend to use it. I know that you probably don't agree with me if you're short of money now. You say, well, I need more money. I need to pay my rent. I need to put food on the table. Yes, those are real needs. But if you chase the money, it'll run away from you. If you disattach yourself from the importance of money and you concentrate on sharing love and being of service to others, the money will start to chase you.
You can be like most of the population. Chase money for the rest of your life, you'll never catch it. But why not try something different? Try disattaching yourself from money. Believe that money will come to you as long as you share love and offer service. It happens. Believe me, it happens. And that's my thought for the day. God bless.